cumulative frequency distribution. Okay. Now in this cumulative frequency distribution, you can see that you have this. Either you will get less than or you will get more than. Okay. So whenever you are getting less than and numbers and more than or numbers, that means it is cumulative frequency distribution. Is it clear? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Others? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Teacher. Okay. You can just say yes so that I'm like it's a confirmation that you are getting it. Okay. So, yeah. So, it's a over here. So, we in what we discuss, we discuss three types of series. One where everything is in one go. So, that is individual one. Right. Other one we discuss, we have two blocks. X and Y. X and F. So, that was discrete series. And the third one where the bar like this was given. 10, 0 to 10, 10 to 20. So, that was your continuous series. Right. But now in this, you cannot find any. You are getting less than or more than. So that means basically it's a cumulative frequency distribution. Now, of course, you have only you have formulas for only three series. Either it is an individual series or discrete series or the continuous series. Right. You don't have any other formula to solve the question. So it's very difficult for you from where you will generate a new formula. Because when we drew the table over there, it was only two formulas. Right. Uh, three formulas for three series. Right. So now what is your task? First of all, you will convert this series into continuous series like this, this one, 0 to 10, 10 to 20, like this. And then you will solve it. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Right? Because it's not possible. So first of all, you will convert. So we'll just understand how you are going to convert it. Okay. So what they are saying, they are saying less than 10, they have five students. Okay. And less than 20, they have 17 students. That means this 5 is being included here. Is it? Right? For example, yes, over here, 5 students. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 students are there. And less than 20, you have uh, some other students. So you are going to include it. So now, these are included in less than 20. And in less than 30, these 3 are included. These 2 plus whatever it is. Less than 40, you will add up and it is. Less than 50, like this. Okay? So, first of all, you are going to convert this cumulative frequency series into a simple frequency distribution or you can say continuous one like this. Okay. So, what you said, you said, okay, it is less than 10. So, you what you will do? 0 to 10. Okay. Then less than 20, you will say 10 to 20. Okay. So, this is what you will make a table. This you will make. Okay. But the question is this. You cannot copy and paste it. Right. So, it is like 0 to 10. So, 0 to 10, you have only 5 students. Okay, now coming to 10 to 20. Okay, 10 to 20, how many students you have? You will subtract this. From the 17, you will subtract 5. Right? Whatever answer you will get, you will write it here. Why you are subtracting 5? Because over here, they have written less than 20. So, in less than 20, they have included this 5. That's why they have written 17. Right? So, you will subtract this. Are you getting it? Yes, ma'am. Others? Girls? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Yes, teacher. Oh, so now 17 minus 5. Now 10, 20 to 30. In 20 to 30, what was happening basically? In this 31, this 17 and 5, they were included. Right? So you will just minus this 31 and 17. Right? And now the question is, ma'am, uh, why I am only minusing this 17? Why not this? Because in this 17, you are only also including this 5 now. So you will only subtract the upper one. Okay? So, if in the first, of course, 5 will be 5. In the second, you will minus 17 minus 5. In the third one, 31 minus 17. In the next one, 41 minus 31. The next one, 49 minus 41. Clear? So, you are getting the numbers. 5, 12, 14, 10, 8. These are the new numbers. Okay? Now, you have this continuous series. So, you know the formula. You have different types of formula. One is your direct method. One is your shortcut method, like the assumed one shortcut method and the step deviation. You have three formulas. You can put any of the formula and you will get the answer. Is it okay for everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma okay. So now, first of all, uh, you can write it like this. You have to write the question as well. Just draw a rough one because you should have an idea. Right? So first draw this and then after this, you will solve it. So you have to, first of all, you will solve it like this. Okay. And here only, which formula you are going to use? It's your choice. Over there, they have used uh, like a direct method. 
Okay, so you will solve this with direct method. What is the formula for direct method? It is summation of f m divided by m. Uh, sorry, f. Right, summation of f. Right. So now, uh, this is for uh, this is for uh, Hania. Okay, because Hania was absent in the previous class. So first of all, whatever we do in this, like whenever you are getting a continuous series, right? First of all, you have to find this m. Okay. Okay, ma'am. Right? So now the question is, ma'am, how I will find the m? Okay. So you will make a table like this m. Okay. So your m will be zero plus ten divided by two. So which will be ten upon two. So the answer is five. Similarly, ten plus twenty divided by two. Whatever answer is twenty plus thirty divided by two. Right. Median is basically the middle term. So in middle term, you divide it by two. Add both okay. the digit, both the upper limit and uh, lower limit, and then divide by two. You will form a table which is M. Okay. okay this is your X. This is your M. This is your F. The new numbers. Okay. This is your F. And now the next table will be for F M. Okay. In this, you will multiply this and this. Five multiplied by five, twenty-five. Right. Twelve. Twelve multiplied by whatever number is, you will write it here. Right. And what okay. was the formula? It was summation of F M. Divided by summation of f, so you will add all this number here. That will be summation of f m, okay? And you will add these number over here. That will be summation of f. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So you will put it value as Hania. You are getting it because others already know the thing. So uh, yes, what I did? I'm getting. Okay, because others they have practiced a lot for two hours, so they know everything. Nice. So now. Yes, because I took the class for two hours. So over there I explained. So they have practiced a lot. So they know everything. Like for this, right? So that's why. I hope everyone got it now. So I'm just showing you the question. Okay. Your first step is you will first find cumulative frequency, which is CF. Okay. That will be your CF. Okay. Once you got CF, then over here you like you will make a table like this. Over here M. This is X. This is your F. You will find CF, okay, and then you are going to write FM. Clear, everyone? Yes, ma'am. Yes, ma'am. I hope everyone is getting it right. So over here, whenever we do this, we consider CF, not the F one, okay? Though it is F, but you will consider CF. Clear? This one you will use here to multiply, right? So, ma'am, we'll multiply CF into FM. No, 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 no. You will multiply this. This was your F new F, right? Yes. So instead of writing this five seventeen thirty one, right? You will write this number here as a F. Okay, okay? ma'am. This okay. is your new F, right? Yes.
students done or you are doing it? Yes, ma'am, we are doing it. I am done. Okay, others, girls? Girls, you are also done. So let's just discuss the answer. No, anyone who is facing issue, you can just point out to me that ma'am, yes, I am facing issue. Hanya, Achilla Biba left. I think she lost networks. Jaina and Hanya, you got it? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. I hope everyone got 25.82. Yes, ma'am. Okay, I'm not A2. Can be I didn't got 82. Yeah, yeah, a props can be anything but 25 point whatever it is. Okay. 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 Uh, now coming to the next one, which is this. More than is given over here. So it is opposite, right? More than is like uh, more than zero, right? So more than zero is 30, right? So over here, what they are doing in more than it is totally opposite. Right, so it means this 30, this 30 includes this 28, 24, 18, and 10 all. Right, and then more than two, then it includes these numbers. More than four, it includes these two, like this. Okay, so over here again, you will make it like this more than zero. So zero to two, two to four, four to six, six to eight, right, and eight to ten. Right, and over here, you will subtract this 30 minus 28, 28 minus 24. 24 minus 18, 18 minus 10, and after 10, it's nothing. So, 10 minus 0. Clear? Yes, ma'am. So, again, you will solve it like this. You will make a table, and then you will find the mean. I know how, I, I hope you everyone knows how to find mean now. Right? Yes, ma'am.
इसमें हम डन Okay, others, you are also done. Hanya. Okay, what you got? You got 6.33? Yes, ma'am. Okay, great. And now, this is basically the things. Over here, mid values are given. Okay. Over here, mid terms are given. Okay. So, now, in the previous chapter, previously what was happening, you have to find the mid values. Right, but over here they have given you mid value, and you have to find the uh, this x. Okay, so over here, can anyone use this? Because of this, can you find the mean? Because of these two things, anyone? Uh, yes, ma'am, I know, but I don't know how to find it. Okay, so you, I think that's very straight. Think about the formula. F is given and M is given. But you don't have any X over here. Right? X is missing. So can with the help of these two you can have the mean? Yes ma'am we can. Okay. So I hope. See. Over here they have given you mid value and the number of students. Right? So that means overall you don't need X. You only need F and M. Right? And F and M they are given. So you will quickly do it. This is F. This is M. You will make one more table, which is FM, yes, right? Summation of F and summation of FM, directly put the value and get the answer, right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, quickly do it.
मैम डन Okay, Hania, you are also done. Let's just check the answer. Your answer is this nineteen point nine. Yes. Yes, ma'am. Sayed. Nineteen point nine. No. Sayed, am I audible? Okay. Maybe some network issues or mic issues. Okay, now this one. See, student, this table. This is very important. Over here, you can see in the previous chapter, it is though you can see that it is a continuous series, twenty to twenty nine. But here, there should be twenty nine. But instead of twenty nine, it is thirty. It is a not in continuous. It's a breakdown, right? So it's a breakdown. So in a breakdown, what you do basically, first of all, this is. Inclusive series, you have to convert it. Okay, how you are going to convert it? First of all, can you you can do it simply, or you can first make it an inclusive series and then you can convert it. Clear? So twenty to twenty nine, you will simply put the value and you will get the answer. Clear? Yes. You have yes, two options. Either you will calculate it completely, or you will do nineteen point five and twenty nine point five. Okay, like this, or you can simply just calculate it and you will get the answer. Okay. now this one is very very important okay this is basically calculation of corrected arithmetic mean for example over here you calculated something but instead of 19 here it was 10 okay and of course your answer will be wrong right so this is the formula which is summation of wrong one you will write the summation of wrong one plus corrected value minus incorrect value so summation of wrong mean will be this you will add x right And it has the corrected value. For example, corrected value is ten, and incorrect value is nineteen, right? And n is number of items. So you will calculate one, two, three, four, five, six, and that's how you will calculate the mean, corrected mean. Clear? Yes, yes ma'am. Ma okay. So over here, see, you can see the question, right? What is the question? Mean marks obtained by hundred students. So this is n. R forty. So this is mean marks. This means this is this. Later on, it found that the one value was read eighty three instead of fifty three. Okay, you read it eighty three, but it was fifty three. Clear? So what you are going to do? First of all, you in the formula you need this summation of x, right? So you have this mean. So from this formula, first of all, you will calculate this summation of x, right? And then you will put it in the formula and you will get the answer. Clear to everyone? Yes, ma'am. Right, girls. Yes, ma'am. Okay, so complete. Do it first and tell me the answer.
Iya, 19.